Hi, this is Raya with your weekly weather roundup from March 3rd to the 9th. Winter storm Titan continued on through Monday, bringing freezing rain and snow to the east. The ice storm caused a major traffic jam outside Dallas, leaving some drivers stuck for hours. More cold records creep into March, with, among others, Green Bay low at negative 24 degrees. Lowest record maximums were also cast in Louisiana, Texas, and an impressive 29 locations in Arkansas. Speaking of hope-destroying cold, here are the cities that have experienced their top 10 coldest winter on record this year. The winners are Eau Claire, Rhinelander, Ironwood, Marquette, and Lincoln. Winter is, of course, a loose term. And now it's time for the Nino. NOAA has issued an El Nino warning for this summer and fall with a 50% chance of occurrence. El Nino is looking for just someone to laugh with and temperatures in the equatorial eastern Pacific to be at least 0.5 degrees Celsius above average for three consecutive months. His turnoffs include egg salad and romantic comedy starring Kate Hudson. Thursday, severe thunderstorms hit Florida with heavy rain and three tornadoes in Largo, Tampa, and Oquilanta. Gusts were felt across the peninsula with the highest a 70 mile per hour gust reported in Pompano Beach. Winter storm Ulysses iced North Carolina on Friday, causing damage and cutting power to thousands of residents. 15 inches of snow hit Mount Mitchell and a half inch of ice accumulation was recorded in Statesville. Christchurch, New Zealand was hit early this week with the heaviest rainfall they've seen in 40 years. In the city, wind gusts reached up to 74 miles per hour and nearly six inches of rain fell. The suburb of Lyttelton received 6.30 inches of rainfall in just 24 hours. 5,000 customers lost power and hundreds of buildings flooded. 647 daily records were set this week across the U.S with 19 high temperature records and 628 low temperature records.